Jamie. Oh, oh, no. No. Let's get that apology out. Yeah, that was like my subway days. Yeah, if you guys didn't have a job where you got a little too much freedom as a young adult, God, you missed out on it. It wasn't until Mickey's dad put in security cameras that we had to stop. Y'all didn't just figure out a way to unplug the working. security cameras? <laughs> no, he would literally watch them. Because like, he didn't trust y'all. He was in there at home. Y'all oh fucking the sandwiches? He'd, be, he'd call me like, <laughs> Mickey, wear your hat. <laughs> I worked in a supermarket and it was the worst. Supermarketa? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was your origin story. Hey, everybody, we're the normies. And we're here to watch Casual Friday, Season 5, Episode 26, The Office. Whee! This is Surge. I'm Pat. Marketa. I'm Spidey. It's the CFO of Smegma, Chris Johnson. Uh, how's the weather, guys? Is it a little chilly where you are? Huh? Are you guys just chilling out? Chilling? Yeah. I like to Are you from chill. Chile? Yeah. Chilean Himalayans. Listen, we saw the thumbnail from the last episode when it was going to play this one. So um, some of you might not know. Do you know? Yeah, I have not even no. shit. I'm so shit. excited. We've been to Office Con. We've seen things. We've heard things. I... It's just, this permeates the culture. And I'm not even trying to hype it up. I'm not trying to really? hype it up because I think it's going to be a good episode, a regular episode. <laughs> but for some reason, motherfuckers <laughs> latched on to this shit. I need to know why. I'm excited I, to know why. Now I need to know why. I, I think that. I know why, but I'm not going to say why. I just, I just <laughs> want to make sure that Chris doesn't have the, the, a the circumcision? remote. Oh, no. I don't have a remote. Circumcision. <laughs> because I said the thing about smegma. Okay. Hey, okay, just because you're uncircumcised doesn't mean you get schmegma. No, because last time he had bagels? the microphone was during the mask scene yeah. with uh, Dwight. And uh, he, he wore the mannequin and face and I, I did ruin it. Oh, that was the funniest thing. I know. I was, <laughs> I've seen it so many places. You, uh, anyway, I'm away from it. It's fine. I'm not making, not a market substitute. Support the OG content. Feel free to support the normies over on Patreon. Support us on Patreon means you get to watch ahead. You get to watch uncuts. And you also get to participate in polls. Participate in polls. Participate in polls. All right. I said you were taking gang, a gang, shit gang. half the time. I'm sorry about that bagel thing I said earlier. Let's watch. What? What bagel thing? I said you would smear schmegma on a bagel. Chris, <laughs> you did not say that. You just said it now. Some of my Kevin's famous the trick is to undercook. Oh my god. Everybody is undercook the onions? No. Oh my god. Oh! 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 <laughs> okay. I think it's such a famous scene because it's such a comically large pot of chili. It's like he's like no, no, he did not scoop it. He back walked in up there. the stairs with that thing. Bro, it's just like un oh. unrealistically large. The whole office is gonna smell like chili for years. If I drop a pot of chili in here, I'm just, just gonna quit. yeah, I'm gone. I'm leaving it and I'm gone. Oh, that's it. It was just the opening gag. That's it. He started his oh own God. comedy and now he's back. Who could it be? <laughs> Does he, Does he sleep there? Yes, it looks like he just woke up. You have missed with all your heart a man who has ruined all other men. Oh, well, it's Casual oh, Friday. That's right. Who is it? She's all oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Dwight Dwight's approved. casual is still not very that. casual. Can, can, can you guys do that for me? <laughs> they look, Stanley they is look over weird there. weird with casual clothes. Oh, we should do non-casual Friday here. Isn't that every day? Well, non-casual. Are you formal right now? I want you to say whatever you want. Take it away. Your meeting. Kelly looks like a Bratz doll. Anyone watch Lost last night? Oh, okay. Am I right? Sorry. Yeah, people are dressed inappropriately. Take it up with Toby. What I want you to do. <laughs> oh yeah. Let's get that apology out. Can you give us a hint? When I needed salespeople for my new paper company, everyone here turned their back on me. Am I going to ask them to beg for forgiveness? Yes. Am I going to ask for a big, crying apology? Yes. No. Do I still have a job here? Not important. <laughs> 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 Pam are starting with us as sales. Ryan cannot make a sale worth his life. It's going to work very smoothly because Pam and Ryan are bringing over a ton of clients from Michael Scott Paper Company. And you mean the clients you stole from us? Yeah. Let me explain something to you. 
I set the rules and you follow them blindly. Damn. With that, then you can talk to our complaint department. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Dude, Ryan's fucked up, bro. I no. like Ryan. Nah, Ryan's kind of sick. <laughs> Don't fall in love with me, kid. Up. Yes. <laughs> Okay, that was a good look to the camera. No way. Oh my god. <laughs> What's going on with that sweater? Isn't it what you said to a bunch of my clients when you were stealing them that I didn't have enough time for? Close your mouth, sweetie. You look like a trout. Go! No! Damn. I don't want to see Oscar's toes at work. Gross. Don't look at them. The boat to wear, bitch. Yeah. Of course, he's got a Costa Rica hoodie. Uh, dropped out. <laughs> sex with this girl, Kathy. Followed her back to Scranton. Took the first job I could find in HR. Later, she divorced me. Oh my God. HR. Oh, that's why he got rickety cricketed. <laughs> Toby, <laughs> Lord, <laughs> what the hell? I don't know. Uh, Toby, Toby. Thanks, Michael. Yep. Oh, he preferential uh -oh. treatment. Uh oh. Fresh hot ink. Not they wearing a tie doesn't make it. Also, pajamas isn't quite casual. I want to read this memo very carefully. You are going to want to heat my words. Is it heat or heat? heat? The invisible ink will reveal that everyone should meet at the warehouse immediately. No one is going to do this. Do not ask me where I got the invisible ink. The internet? Urine. It was urine. Ah! What? Ah! So if you do that to urine, you can see it in Van Flames? Did you even read the memo? All my files are now in reverse alphabetical order. Not you idiot. You <laughs> surround all the salesmen except for Ryan and Pat and get them down to the warehouse pronto. Oh, it is on like a prom. Yons, yons. <laughs> okay. We're in crisis mode here. You got Jim down here. What are you? Frankly, I'm not convinced that Michael and Pam didn't have a thing going while they were gone. Can I address that? <laughs> no, you're just <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it. He doesn't like it. <laughs> you have to take my clients away and give them to the secretary. Oh, oh my. She's yeah. very pretty. Her face is okay. Ah! Jeez, what? This what Pam Slender here? will not stand. Okay. This all crap? I thought there might be a dog fight. Get out! The fuck? <laughs> a dog fight or something? <laughs> <laughs> the best way to handle this might be to just talk to Michael directly. That's a great idea, Jim. Meeting is over, I guess. So I'll see everyone upstairs. Stay upstairs. Come on. Now it's time for action. I'm talking. <laughs> <laughs> I can hear y'all not walking. He's right there. What are y'all doing? Why are you you so look so classy. I do. Well. Oh my god. That's so funny. <laughs> this is awkward to talk about, but there may or may not be, but definitely is a mutiny forming in the warehouse right now. What? It's gotta be because they all want their clients. Right. The old Michael Scott might have taken this, but not the new Michael Scott. I am not to be truffled with. Truffled? <laughs> <laughs> you two were the only ones with the stones to follow. He didn't even work here. Ryan no, was he at a bowling alley. Because you gotta go down to that warehouse and you gotta crack some skulls, mm -hmm. Chickless style. Don't listen to him. Michael Chickless. Chickless shield style. Okay. Not commish style. Yeah, yeah. What? What is Kamish? I have no idea what anybody just said. The Shield is a show starring Michael Chiklis. Sometimes it's best just to stay out of it. That's right. Yeah. Want to play a game? No. Is he fucking high? Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah. No, right? Get out of there. <laughs> hey gang, where you been? Lunch. Stanley looks comfy. A restaurant. What'd you have, Stanley? I had a salmon salad with water, no ice. I was gonna get a soda, but the waitress talked me out of it. You won't be eating the stuff that you brought with you for lunch, will you? <laughs> Oh, wow, Stanley. Is that egg salad? Uh, you could have that back. Is that a meat sandwich? Ooh. You guys hungry? Meat sandwich. <laughs> Straight bully shit. Oh my pony. god. Pony. 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 What? He grows ponies. Oh, no. Your outfit. A bunch of prudes. You know, Oscar's allowed to wear sandals, but I'm not allowed to wear those. Meredith, your boob is out. Oh. <laughs> No. Uh, <laughs> no change. Back to where it was. <laughs> no. <laughs> Toby, Toby, I'm just leaving. He's like, I'm just yeah. gonna, I can't do. He's like, I can't do this anymore. <laughs> what are you doing, Great? This feels like lost. Yeah. Give me the phone. Give me the phone. 
Exactly. Phone, that's my plan. Your first complaint in 10 years, things have phone. been generally good. Give me the phone. Hey, it's right oh here. my god. You can find this anywhere else. White truth here. Hey, don't hang no, up, no, no, Mr. Barton. Don't listen to me. Yeah, I might hit him with the phone. Stop flustering me, everybody. Who left this boy on the phone? Who left this boy on the phone? Well, you shouldn't have done it like that, Dwight. He was my client for 10 years. You made him lose the account by screaming at him the entire time. And I'm taking your phone. Hey, hey. I'm confiscating Guys, this. shake hands. Get over it. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> that was not a shake, Dwight. We want our clients back or we quit, Michael. Me. Who? And me. Who? Me too. Who? You guys gotta be kidding. I love though. this idea and I fully support you. As a matter of fact, I'm going to give you some seed money. There you go. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Yo, burn this bitch. I would have punched Michael. I am coming back with explosives. Well, we said we were a family. Then you went after us. Oh damn! She got him. Uh -oh. She got him with that one. I need you to arrange a meeting between me and the sales staff. Gasp! Oh, this shit is high school. They should all meet. Just do it, okay? He's gonna get the urine again. <laughs> That's not a mug full of pee, is it? It uh, sure is. And it's Ryan's pee. cup too. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for saying that. I can't believe that Toby thinks this is inappropriate. You look at Jayla. Why is it? What would be inappropriate? My heart. I am sorry. You're giving us our clients back. If we could just focus and break out my gift to you, complimentary white chocolate bark. Nobody likes this stuff except for you. They wouldn't make it unless people liked it. <laughs> if I give you your clients back, there won't be enough clients for Pam and Ryan, and I promise both of them they were going to be salespeople. So? Fine. Have your clients. You are not reacting at all as I'd hoped. Uh-oh. <laughs> what well, I'm saying about building forts in my warehouse. <laughs> <laughs> Michael gave all of our clients back to their old salespeople. He can only keep one of us as a salesperson now and make his decision by the end of the day. Oh, he God. Should. He really grew into it. What? Oh, I think you should get it. If you really think that, will you tell that to Michael? Okay. She's not. So, hey, set you up with my daughter. <laughs> oh, I'm your son. I thought you were gay. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Is he high, bro? I, He's definitely bro, he Creed. I need your help. This whole Pam Ryan debate is screwing with my head. <laughs> I don't want to be biased, but I'm very close to Ryan. You know that. You're close <laughs> to Pam, too. Oh. She's nice, I guess. You know what? That's in cons, Ryan. He defrauded the company. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it, Jim. She doesn't always follow through. She has a weird voice. <laughs> I don't need to tell you that. I think she'd be a really good salesperson. I don't think you are being totally impartial, though, because you haven't said one bad thing about Pam. And I won't. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes when she is tired, she can be a little bit shrill. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> 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 I have a very difficult. <laughs> What's wrong with him? Do I rent Devil Wars Prada again? Again? Or do I finally get around to seeing Sophie's Choice? You're not ready for it Sophie's Choice. You, call a classic you are not ready for Sophie's Choice. You mean it would be Choice? <laughs> I'll tell you later. <laughs> Weakened and ineffectual. I'm cowboy in this meeting, okay? Here are the Look how Dwight is still wearing his usual shit. Right, except the tie. Women are forbidden to wear pants. All right, come on. Sit down, Dwight. No, I'm running this meeting. That's debatable. It's not. Listen. It's not. Sit down Woo! or I'm writing you Woo! Up. Oh. Who's this guy, man? Casual Fridays are canceled. Really? What? What the hell, Toby? What do you think Casual Friday is, then? Well, there's no easy way of saying this, so I think I will just drag it out. <laughs> I gave Ryan the sales job. That is fucked up. It's a bad move. Bad Ryan, move. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Sorry. She's the one that actually left and followed yeah. Where's you. her $20,000 payout? No way. No, you Why fucking you asshole. Like I just want to go. <laughs> is this a joke? Like the first, like the oh season God. one, right? Oh Did she do that God. in season one? I did? Okay. Really now where's Ryan's 20,000 fucking dollars? Oh my god, thank you. Thank you. Fucking asshole. Dude. 
He's lying. I don't yeah, know. Lying. I'm like, it's, I'm he's nervous. Lying. He's lying because he, he, because he get busted in jail. No, she asked him if he was kidding again. I hope not. What about Ryan? I don't know. I offered him his temp job back. We'll see. He was not happy at all when I offered him this job, and then I told him I didn't get the job. Yeah. Ah! Maybe you shouldn't fake fire people anymore. I don't appreciate you. He did it the other way around for so Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> what a fucking moron. <laughs> Oh. Did, remember, what would you do with the other yeah. one? He did this in season one to Pam, right in front of Ryan. I remember. Aaron's about to get fired. Aaron? No. Aaron's getting fake fired? Hello. Please don't fire Aaron. <laughs> He's so She's stupid. She's so cute. This is very difficult to say. Oh, no. No one here likes you in the office. What? And He's fucking with her, right? You say you're gonna fuck because with her? no one like What? He's fucking with her. Hey. Would you come up here, please? Hank is our security guard. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I hate this so much. No, no I'm kidding. People... No, you're not, you're not fired. Yeah. Do they not like me, though? I don't know, actually. <laughs> okay. Hmm? Oh my god. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> oh and my it's not god. funny. <laughs> it's not. I mean, it's not anyway. funny. No, it's, like... Like, it's like causing me so much anxiety. Yeah. I was really worried about this job, man. Happen to you, but it's funny well, to see. here we are again oh, with a, a list of, damn, Michael, how could prank. you? And also, how awful could you? Prank. Bro, mm -hmm. I understand that having jobs means a lot more for them and was worth a lot more. And now, Ryan doesn't have his job again. Yeah. Yesterday, what? he had $20,000 in his hands, mm -hmm. and today, he's got his dick. Yeah. Well, did he get fired? I thought he was okay. I think he's gonna be back to his fucking temp job. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what a temp gets paid, but it's less than a salesman. I guarantee you that. Yeah. And it's less hours. Oh my god. Mm. Mm. That's mm. right. He's environmentally conscious. Yeah. There you go. Maybe he can get his job back at the bowling alley, but he stole those shoes. <laughs> oh my god. I would. Oh. I wanted to see the scene where he gave it to Ryan the other way around. So <laughs> I'm just. I I love this episode, but I'm just gonna say that I had thought the chili was had a more prominent role oh, when it good. showed up. <laughs> <laughs> Twelve <laughs> seconds. <laughs> yeah, what's no? the part of the fucking chili? I'm kind of here for the chili thing. I see it. Man. Oh no, I, I'm like. I'm a believer. I, I, I had thought that, okay, like everybody's doing like a potluck thing and they have like Thanksgiving or something, you know, at work. Yeah. And and then it was just him bringing chili pot and then just. Did you hear him like describing how, how hardcore he, he cooks it, the it chili? Was, it yeah. sounded yeah. like very good chili. It did. Play it again. Where this is, is it. I, <laughs> no, I'm, I'm a part of this cult now. Well, it's, like it's such a non sequitur. It, it makes the sense. The trick is He's so proud. To I'm going to undercook the onions a little bit. Everybody is going to get to know each other in the pot. I'm serious about this. <laughs> The night before. <laughs> Look at he's, he's still describing it like in the in the B roll. I toast my own ancho chilies. Mm -hmm. ah, not off the carpet. Uh, it's probably the thing I do best. <laughs> I can't. I can't. Oh, I can't. oh, oh can't Jesus! Be like it's the whole so sad. To end he said it's been yeah. passed down from alone to Malone. He's like, it's probably the thing I do the best, and he just shat in it, but he just like... rolled around <laughs> in it. Oh! I think he still shoved that chili. No, it feels it, like they. But why did he put have... it back in a bucket? If he was gonna shove it. Where else you gonna put it? Uh, I think he in the trash yeah, can. That's true. I think he ate it. Yeah, I think someone ate that. I think that is a carpet chili has to be the worst thing on the Bro, but they have that low carpet, so you know Hi. what I mean? It just got vacuumed the night before by mm -hmm. the staff that comes in to take That's that carpet with a hundred no. years of grime in it. It's oh, only been around man. for five. Do not eat off of a carpet. No. It's crazy the things that become memorialized in this show, like to yeah. like random cutaways, you know, like Jim with the whiteboard, and then when they <laughs> cut to Jim like behind the blinds when he was fucking with Andy, yeah. it's just like, <laughs> and this chili thing was literally like 13 seconds. Do you know how many chili costumes I've seen? We were at Office Con. I'm going to kid you now. Like, aside from Dwight's, there was Kevin Chili's left and right's, bro. That's funny. Well, the trick is to undercook the onions. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> and he just goes on describing it while it's like uh, spilled. Oh, great God. episode. I feel bad for Ryan. Mm -hmm. What they could have just. But Ryan. Fuck Ryan. I though. know, fuck yeah. Ryan, but still though. Ryan should whole, not have been allowed back in the company in the first place. I'm I'm here for it. Yes, fuck Ryan. But fair is fair. 
That motherfucker had twenty thousand dollars yesterday, and yes. he got nothing today. He did when, put his bowl. When out. Ryan starts selling drugs at the bowling alley, we're yeah. all gonna know why. Ryan's gonna yeah. sell coke to underage kids, and then once he discovers fentanyl, he's gonna cut it Ryan just a little bit to keep his customers customer. coming back. <laughs> he's the one who knocks. They asked him how much he was making at the bowling alley. Too. Sixty thousand dollars. Sixty thousand dollars. That was bold face lie, but it's funny that and he it was quick with it too. Yeah, it's the same sixty thousand dollars. Oh, 60, <laughs> Ryan's the kind of person who would. Ryan would work for he he would sell opioids like he would know that it's bad and he would do it like he would be like yeah but I mean it's legal so it's fine yeah I, I mean know. doctors did that though, so you can't blame him I maybe mean, he's gonna yeah he's gonna be one kind of, of those kind of he, he has farm rep written all over <laughs> yeah he's got farm farmer bro I can see it <laughs> uh, but maybe yeah. he'll get back with Kelly and crash at her place no I, actually I'm Come with on. one I'm with one I want them to get no. back together because it'll be a happy ending Kelly happy ending for who crazy, for both of them she better. is crazy. Also, how was Kelly's outfit inappropriate? How are any of their outfits because besides no. Meredith? This Meredith, was, Meredith this was inappropriate. Meredith was a, no panties. Because Angela's a hater. Yeah, she, she doesn't, doesn't, she doesn't even, have any style. Not even just Angela though. though Toby was agreeing. Like, well, yeah, he, he said none like, of your outfits are appropriate. He was like, I'm, I'm the only one that uh, maybe doing this right. All of them think what other things are appropriate okay. aren't appropriate. Well, I mean, I will say that uh, Andy was wearing pajama pants, which I don't think is casual Friday appropriate. It's not. It looked like Stanley like, was in like... Casual Friday. Like, Stanley was just in a tracksuit. I feel like I'm wearing casual Friday stuff. We're all wearing casual yeah. Friday stuff. I'm not. We're all wearing casual this is Friday not ca- stuff. I, sweatpants is casual jeans? Friday. No, no, it's not. Jeans. And sweatpants? Is casual Friday? No. no. Sweatpants? No. 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 It's, ca- it's casual. It's casual. casual. Sweatpants is I've given up on life and I'm not leaving the house today. Yes. I no, those are pajama cash, pants. Though. That's both. No. Same well, difference. Have you ever asked, like, hey, what's the dress code the for this, like, baby shower? Casual or, like, semi formal? What yeah. do you think casual is? Casual doesn't mean you stroke well, the baby, baby shower. Well, for a baby shower, baby shower, I get that. Okay, you there's know, not different casuals. Well, I feel, mm. like, I feel like casual Friday is like, you know, chill no. at work. You chill. We, no. all right, here. I, I, I you can't don't ch- chill. You still go to work. You just don't have to wear a suit. Spidey, no you, aren't, you aren't here for the uh, normie dress code debacle. But Spidey, we had a whole oh, four different no. times. We've outlawed sweatpants four <laughs> different times. On four different was, separate occasions. It started in 2018, That's I funny. think. Maybe 2019. I can't remember. No, I think as soon as we moved to the brown house, there was like a, hey, brown you can't house. be in pajamas on the couch. You know who the two motherfuckers was. And you know who the other two motherfuckers <laughs> was who was like, I oh, don't know, maybe we could do pajamas. And it was just a couple times when people be on camera and like, the biggest hoodie you got, the biggest fucking sweatpants, so, and the ah. flip flops. Just <laughs> you look like the couch. Come on, man. <laughs> it's been now hundred thousand like, people watching it's you. It's been probably at least a couple years since like someone's wore sweatpants on the couch, right? I don't know who. Maybe maybe Mickey was the last one. I think well. Mickey might have been the last They've sweatpants well. one. Yeah, well, I, 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 finally I, got I, it. I still think ca- sweatpants is casual guys. though. I, I I don't. I feel like no. if it's there. All right, look. There's all right. Fine. If you want to, if you want to get Joggers, on the level, like a nice the, okay, a nice pair of joggers. But we're not. That's different. You know when we say sweatpants, you know the look I'll we're talking not, about. Not, the, not the fucking gridirons. I'm talking about the ones from the, the dollar store where yeah, you put on because you're about those, to run a CVS real quick. Yeah, I get that. Those are you. That's sleeping. what motherfuckers was wearing. People wasn't here with the fucking nice Nike sweatpants on, looking legit and shit. They was in here looking like they about to go run to Goodwill to pick up another pair of sweatpants. And I'm not shitting on people to go to Goodwill to pick up sweatpants, but not on a couch. We started issuing a point system. This happened, guys. The point that. system was invented because of sweatpants. <laughs> And I thought it was because people were coming in late. I thought it was sweatpants and then something about Pat wearing socks with sandals. <laughs> Everyone was Crocs. really upset. Pat, show us your feet. No, no, Pat's these, this, are, this these, are, these are not bad. This is an upgrade. It's fine. I've given up. Pat, given you're not gonna up. get laid what? like this. What? what? <laughs> hey, wait, look, there's some. Any women on the internet watching right now that would lay yeah, Pat on, because of his crocs, beautiful outfit remember. that he has on now, show us where all the croc mamas at. Yeah, where, croc the, croc, where the croc crashers? <laughs> Hell yeah. Croc, croc mamas. I, uh, well, what if you were wearing sweatpants, though, and it was like the like just got done working out gym look? Like, sure. That's fine, right? If but, you are um, actively working out, though. Yeah, I mean, because you're like, wearing a tank and sweatpants, but you got like the protein shake. Honestly, it was it came down to the, to the if you can make it look nice. And I feel like just none of the sweatpants that were coming through were on the level. Also, everybody got that one tight pair of gray sweatpants you wear. You know, the one to show off the bulge real nice. And you wear that for certain little, oh, I'm about to come home. I'm cleaning up around the house. You turn around with the apron on. You take it off. Baby girl look at you and it's like, oh, I know you see it. I know you fucking see it. And I'm cleaning. You know what this is a prerequisite it. to. You already know. I just did the dishes. I'm a little wet. Not you a little wet. We're about bulge. to go upstairs and fucking get at it. I'm leaving the socks on, on for more grip. 
I don't know who you're living with, but sweatpants sweat pant bulge is not doing it for me. I'm going to I don't on, know whose yeah. house you go to. You might know what I'm talking about. Bulge. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I've gone to full on just taking the sweatpants off now. It'll be very quick. Bria won't even know. I'll be like, I'll be real quick. I'm going to go to the bathroom. I'm going to use the bathroom, wash my hands, and that's come out full on butt ass naked oh, yeah. already. Oil See, dipped much and better. buttered. Yeah. Oh, I've been hitting it with the flashlight from the back, so it's like the bat symbol on the ceiling. <laughs> just, you know what time it is. Just. <laughs> <laughs> Why? I'm not even mad I had a visual. It's creative. Like, I'm like, yeah, that I was actually that's that. creative. I gotta do that. Why am I imagining like a Mickey Mouse silhouette? What does that look like? It looks like a, now we have to find out. Oh, uh, we gotta well, drop music. Comments, let us know what you think it looked like. Oh and we God. will be back with more of The Office next week. Bye. 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 Someone's gonna do it. One of y'all are gonna do it. <laughs>